Hello, I'm Ryan from Moose Nest. Thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell for future notifications of the videos we'll be posting. This video is going to cover how we upgraded our D-Bot printer to the Super Volcano from the original E3D V6 Hot End that we had installed. Firstly, I'd like to start this video by thanking everyone for visiting us at Maker Central and the 3D Meetup. We definitely had a great time and we hope you did too. Now, getting started with the video, I'm going to jump in and explain to you what we did to attach this Super Volcano to our D-Bot printer. When you purchase a Super Volcano kit from us, there are a few modifications you're going to need to do before you can get it running on your 3D printer. These include a mounting system, so this is going to be how you actually mount the Super Volcano to your machine, whether you've got a Bowden drive or a direct drive machine. Things such as adjusting your Z height, which will also need to be adjusted depending on which size nozzle you have. And also, most importantly, you're going to have to adjust some firmware settings. All this will be listed in the description of the things that we've done to get this D-Bot up and running. I'm now going to move into what our setup is here, what I've done to this machine, and then we can get on with a nice print. As you can see here, we've had to make a few modifications to our printer. The first thing you'll notice is this mount here for our BL Touch Probe. I've had to make this an additional 38mm in length, so our BL Touch Probe can now register on our bed. I've also changed our Z offset, which can be done in your firmware. Also, with this hot end, it requires a lot more power, so there will be additional changes you'll need to make that will be involved with the power supply of your machine. All these items are listed on the E3D Dozuki site. We've also changed some of our cable lengths just to gain us some more travel with our cables. And the main things we've changed are in our slicer, such as our layer height. So here I'm printing with a 1.4mm nozzle with a 1mm layer height. This will be configured depending on which nozzle you decide to fit in your Volcano hot end. Now we're going to get a print going so you can see the Super Volcano in action. As you can see, our print is now complete. I'm just going to remove it from our build plate. We've got a good first layer adhesion there. As you can see, our print came out extremely well using the Super Volcano. I'm happy with the quality of our PET G, which is in black. So please do check that out on our website. We also have a range of other colors and different materials depending on your project. This print took around 90 minutes and I'm really happy with how fast the D-Bot handled with that print time. Using a 0.4mm nozzle, this could have took anywhere up to 10 hours of print time, but using that Super Volcano, we was able to speed up this process greatly. If you do have any questions regarding the D-Bot printer or the Super Volcano, please do get in touch and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for joining us on the UseNest YouTube channel, and we'll hope to see you again soon.